Myra, you have been through a divorce. What are some things people should keep in mind when navigating choppy waters in a long-term relationship? Well, I think the first thing is try not to get into the choppy waters. Or if you get into the choppy waters, try to um, communicate soon about it. Don't let difficulties fester. Uh, so communicate, communicate, communicate. Um, in ways that hopefully you've learned how to do throughout your relationship. And if you find that uh, you are in a situation where you um, don't want to continue the marriage, then try to have the most amicable divorce possible. And try to maintain that friendship even after the divorce. Uh, it will serve your children well and um, you once loved this person, so hopefully you can find a way to continue to be friends. No one ever gets married expecting to divorce, but we know that about 40 to 50 percent of marriages today will end in divorce, and so that's important to keep in mind. Right. When it comes to another difficult situation, um, you and I have both navigated care for aging relatives, um, you for a partner, and um, it's so critical in that situation to approach it with um, caution, with grace, with respect. Um, we like to say tread lightly. Uh, these are topics where adult children or grandchildren even can be very helpful, but um, it's really important to use our five C's and clarify what you're concerned about, um, listen and communicate to what they are concerned about. Those two things might not be the same, but making sure you're covering the bases with all of the money and love topics. Um, how can they finance retirement? Where will they live? Does it mean they will have to move? Um, certainly thinking about wills and trusts at the very least, having things like advanced care directives, all can make um, the consequences of aging um, easier. And certainly doing so not in an emergency or an accident situation, doing that ahead of time can make things a little bit less difficult. And you use the five C's as well. I found the five C's to be very helpful when my husband who had Parkinson's um, began to decline and we had to think about a different place to live. And um, I had to clarify what I wanted, uh, what he wanted, what his children wanted, and then communicate with him. I found checking in to be very useful in terms of finding caregivers, in terms of finding a place, um, uh, that had continuing care where he would be comfortable. And um, looking at the consequences of the decisions that uh, we were making was also very important. And so even though these conversations and decisions are very difficult, having a guide can be reassuring and comforting. I felt more confident making my decisions knowing that I had gone through this process. Mm -hmm.